So we're going to have to do things a little bit differently. So anyways, the first thing we notice, guys, is our absolute value is isolated, right? Good. Less work. So we go right into our creating our two cases. The first case is really the easiest thing. You just rewrite everything without any parentheses. So everybody should at least get the first case correct. You don't really have to do anything. You just by creating the two cases, we're able to eliminate the absolute value. So the first case is basically the same thing without the absolute value, as long as the absolute value is isolated. Make sure you isolate it first. The next case, though, we have to negate the side. And a lot of students make this mistake. They, they're OK with negating numbers, but expressions, they make mistakes. And the reason why is they do not use parentheses. So it, should, it needs to look like this. Remember, when you're negating in the side, you're negating everything on the side. You're not just negating the 4x. You're not just negating the 5. You're negating 4x and 5. So that's why I use the negative outside of the parentheses. Just to remind myself, I have to apply distributive property and basically negate both of them. So really, this looks like 3x plus 2 equals negative, four, negative 4x minus 5. Does everybody see that? OK. So now we just go through back and go ahead and solve. Um, again, we want to solve for a variable where it's going to be positive. So I'll subtract a 3x, subtract a 3x. I get 2 equals x plus 5. Subtract 5, subtract 5. Negative 3 equals x. Um, over here, I'm going to add the 4x onto both sides. So I get 7x plus 2 equals a negative 5. Subtract 2, subtract 2. 7x equals negative 7, divide by 7, divide by 7, x equals negative 1. Does everybody see how on this example it was easier for me to solve for x on the right-hand side, and this example was easier for me to solve for x on the left-hand side? Again, guys, there's no, you don't have to follow the way I do it, but just through my years of experience, I like solving, um, I like solving so the variable is positive. Now, if you're one of those students that does not like the variable being on the right-hand side, then just switch it. We're allowed to do that. Just switch it. Switch it back over after you've solved. Now, um, we need to go back and plug it in. Now, I can tell you guys, you could plug in x. You're supposed to plug in x for the x's on the left hand and the right hand side, right? But I think the easiest thing for me, the easiest thing to do is just plug it in on the right hand side. What, as long, plug it into the equation where your absolute value is equal, because what the absolute value is equal to has to be a positive number. So watch. When I plug in negative 3 on the right-hand side, 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. Plus 5 is negative 7. Can the absolute value equal a negative 7? No. So this is extraneous. Now let's try negative 1. When you plug in negative 1, 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. Negative 4 plus 5 is 1. That one works. So that is our only solution. This is what we call extraneous, which would be no solution. OK? Good. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give you guys two problems to kind of work in your groups, check your answers with each other, um, help each other out. 